<laughs> and a lovely blue-eyed lady sitting across from me, and uh, her name is Leslie Helbert, and she's going to help her, help her, help her, help her. All of the above. You can do whatever you want, but just if you can try to get, like, maybe up this way, back that way, up this way, back that way, kind of thing, okay. toward the light, that'd be great. Okay. Very nice. Give me a little history on the song. It was such a simple kind of, uh, kind of archetypal poetic phrase, you know. Just didn't want to take you down, you know. And and then I, 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 mean, I think a lot about kind of the archetype and the story and the folklore and the way that the same story threads itself through so many different cultures and uh, at the basis of, of all things dogmatic and esoteric and everything. There's kind of these basic principles of the feminine and the masculine. So in a lot of ways that song kind of references something that, that might be kind of traditionally European in, in the folk world, kind of like the uh, sacred sensual feminine and the, um, and the, uh, the um, masculine that's kind of persecuted for his religious beliefs, perhaps crucified or something. I was just kind of thinking, I'm, I'm not I'm neither a religious or non-religious person, definitely, you know. But regardless, there was something that had to do with kind of the, the basic story of that principle in there and just the idea of of, of all the wars and the, the history of the masculine and all the war heroes and the idea of the feminine being behind it and having a sense of both uh, uplifting the masculine and at the same time occasionally feeling the guilt of his wrath. Ah. Stars fill on 